With all the excitement in 2023 surrounding new driver releases, I have some clubs in this golf bag, which could be the biggest game changers of all and make golf easy er than ever. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I have the brand new TaylorMade Stealth HD irons. These for me could be absolute game changers. If you struggle with your irons, if you struggle getting the ball up in the air, if you struggle playing the golf you really want to play with your friends, these could be the irons for you. I think these could be the most forgiving golf clubs, um, well, ever. So we're gonna test them out here today at Wally Park Golf Club. I've also been in the simulator to test these clubs for numbers and you will be amazed as to just not how good they are how consistent they are. I'm going to put this out there straight away. These are not Jack Lofted irons. These are not power lofts. These are by no means just a strong lofted set of irons. They're actually quite traditionally lofted. Um, well, for a forgiving set of irons. And check out this ball flight for a five iron. Now that's the first swing of the day. I haven't had a warm up for a practice swing. It felt good it's in the middle of the fairway and that is the exact turf interaction i want with this oversized sole so what else makes these clubs so special and why am i so excited about them let's get out there and see exactly why you see the big story here is a golf set to help golfers get the ball in the air to help them get the ball airborne because that's what so many golfers want to do. If you're a beginner golfer, if you're a high handicap golfer, there's nothing more frustrating than not being able to get your irons off the floor. Whereas now, TaylorMade have designed a concept with these irons to help you do just that together with plenty of loft. You'll see the first thing you do notice about these clubs is that excessive blade length. And for me, when I first saw them, I thought, oh, they look a little bit like a chipper. Like if I look at this, it looks very much like a chipper to me, there's loads of offset, plenty of blade length, very, very thick, nice looking top line, if that's what you want. And the technology in here is actually quite ridiculous. I'm going to go through it in this video. I feel like a school teacher pointing at stuff, but um, yeah, very, very interesting for anyone who wants to make the game a lot easier. I say a little bit easier, but no, a lot easier. So TaylorMade described these clubs as clubs for golfers who want to hit more successful shots more often and that doesn't necessarily mean tour pros it obviously means the everyday golfer it means those mid handicap high handicap even beginner golfers so much so i took my brother-in-law to the driving range last night and let him have a go with these fair to say it went rather well he's having a few lessons with myself and chris over on get good at golf but these seem to make it so much easier for him to launch the ball up in the air love it so the big technology here is that the clubs have a low CG that progressively shifts throughout the set to make it easier to launch those pesky long irons while keeping versatility in the mid to short irons. We've got a nine iron here. Is that enough club? I'm not sure it is, so I'm going to go seven iron. And I'm going to see just how versatile this club can be. Down at the ball, it just fills you with forgiveness. You can see the massive back cavity there, which helps with that progressive CG. You can also actually see that rounded sole, which is designed to help golfers hit higher up on the club face, which again is designed to help you hit the ball higher, easier. And as the rain comes down, let's see if we can play a nice shot in here. I mean, that is perfect. Just cut. Like the way I've been able to play that shot nice and low is ridiculous. I really, really enjoyed first that first tee shot, which took away a lot of the first tee nerves. It took away any kind of stiffness that maybe I would have. And then that second shot, look how accurate that is. That for me is perfection. And the fact that on a windy day, I can kind of knuckleball that down. I can play it as I want to, and I can have that bit of versatility. Almost makes me think, why wouldn't you look at these if you do want a forgiving set? Because my worry here would be you buy a forgiving set, then you go and have lessons, you get a little bit better, you don't necessarily need them. But if you can play it down, I'm gonna replay that ball flight for you. I mean, that is perfect. And then the ball can finish there. Well, why wouldn't you? Now I know the greens are a little bit damp because of the time of year, but for that ball to stop like it did from that trajectory is rather impressive. Uh, Titleist one for anyone that wants to know what ball we're using. And that wasn't a ball, it was a feather. So uh, the ball boys didn't leave me one. 
Now, I'm not too worried what I shoot today. I'm actually going to move this back and play a little bit of a bump and run with this 9-iron. For me, I almost think these could help you with short game as much as your iron striking because, I mean, it looks just like a chipper. It's got a massive sole, plenty of bounce, a little bit of offset and a nice wide blade length. So how simple does it make chipping if all you do is go back and through like that? Don't go in. Oh, wow. Like, are these the perfect irons for anyone who just isn't interested in making golf hard, who just, like my dad, should 100% look at these in a graphite shafted option, in a graphite shaft, just a little bit lighter. They also have a little bit of offset, so they are more draw bias than the tailor-made stealth irons. And I have to say that even on a windy day, I'm very impressed. I mean, to be honest, with the whole stealth HD lineup, now you may be wondering, James, why on earth are you out here today in the wind and the rain and the cold? This isn't the ideal day to be testing these clubs. And although I would rather be in America uh, in the sun, we're not. And I think it is the ideal day to test these clubs because if you live in the UK, if you live in some areas of the USA, you're going to get weather like this and your golf clubs need to work in this weather. We now have a couple of shots, which for me will be the most important shots of this test. Guys, remember I've been in the studio, I've tested these clubs with numbers, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Comment below, could you see yourself using these clubs? Right now, I have 160 yards into a bit of wind. I've got the seven iron. Again, this, this blade length just makes it feel so easy. I'm gonna draw it in, use the natural shot shape of these clubs. Now, that is all over it as well, be good. It's hung up a little bit in the air. I think that's flag high, it drew into the middle of the green. The next shot is 30 yards further forward. We're gonna go with the nine iron. And I think the beauty really about these clubs isn't the versatility, obviously. That's not really what they're designed for, although I'm finding it quite enjoyable. It's the ease, it's that I don't feel like I have to make my best swing. And the ball just goes up. Oh yeah. So if that's what you want, these could be perfect. Also guys, not gonna lie, a little like on this video for staying out here in the rain wouldn't go amiss we are trying to get to quarter of a million subscribers and it would be wonderful if you joined us get that mud off the ball and the leaf right 130 this this for a nine iron i mean the numbers were going around i'll, I'll spoil it a little bit 145 ish but we are into that heavy wind high draw again to the flag i mean it's drawing that's going that's going to be middle of the green but if that's more user error. Can you play a cut with them? I wasn't planning on doing this, but I feel like they have just turned a little bit too much. So if you struggle with a hook, but you want to play these, can you play a fade? Well, oh yeah. Hold that baby off. The wind's definitely moved that now, but that was definitely fading in the air. And again, it's wet today, it's muddy, it's so easy to catch these a little bit duffy, um, as you can probably tell, but they just seem so easy. Like I got ball first there and then the club pretty much did the rest for me. Right guys, let's jump in the studio, let's talk numbers for these tailor-made Stealth HD irons. And to be honest, let's talk about the whole Stealth HD range because if you're wanting to get good at golf, if you're wanting just to play better golf, easier golf, these could well be the club's for you. So in the simulator room at Woolley Park Golf Club, I tested the 9-iron, the 7-iron, and the 5-iron in the Stealth HD irons. And to be honest, I was really pleasantly surprised. I wasn't even really looking forward too much to testing these irons. I'm thinking, right, I need to get these in the hands of a kind of high handicap of a beginner, like I did with Jamie at the driving range the other night. I wasn't thinking, you know what? These are actually launching really good. They're actually spinning really good. They're actually performing really, really good. You'll see how close to the line some of these balls are finishing. And that kind of got me thinking, are these just for high handicap golfers? Are they just for beginners? Are there people who want to make the game a little bit easier who don't maybe look at this ball flight here? It's mesmerising, and I remember it being so at the time. We're starting to move up through to the kind of seven and five irons now. Yes, launching a little bit lower, but with that loft that they have on them, they're still launching in a nice window that you would want. So what kind of numbers are we talking for all these irons? Sorry, that's just another line ball with them. You'll see that this 9 iron, we've got a ball speed of 107.9, launching at 24, spinning at 7.5, which for me is pretty good, carrying 143. The 7 iron was spinning at 5.6, again, not too bad at all, carrying 176. And the 5 iron was spinning at 4.5, near enough, 202 yards average carry. Wow. 
So what I'm impressed with most about those numbers isn't the distance. They're always going to be a fairly long hitting club. They're actually no further really than my kind of stock irons. But it's the spin rate, it's the consistency, it's the control. There's no way these clubs have any right to be spinning at what they are doing. And that's why I'm finding them so kind of playable out here. You see we've hit the green again here with one of the shots. I think that's probably the third one that we've tried to fade in. It's a horrible blustery day out here. And the other two were pretty flag high as well. So regards to distance, that is pretty impressive for me. Remember, these aren't massively powerful lofted. They are a little bit more weaker lofts to help get the ball airborne. That's definitely helping with spin rate. And for me, one of the really cool things that TaylorMade have done here, which they didn't really need to focus on, is make them feel a little bit softer, make them feel a little bit more pleasing. They do feature an echo dampening system, which is designed to make them feel just that bit softer, which in its essence makes them sound softer, or vice versa. They didn't need to do that. The demographic for these irons doesn't really care too much about that. But again, around the greens, I feel so confident with this 9-iron that I can just bump those up. You'll see Stuart has put this flag and all I'm doing here is bumping this 9-iron. Wow. Like I'm not even, I'm thinking about just putting it. It looks almost like the ping chipper. Hold it. I bladed that one and that one's going up so close. That's what these clubs are all about. They're all about forgiveness. Let's play one more hole because I'm actually quite enjoying this. So the numbers are good, they feel good. To me, in a way, they look good. Don't get me wrong, they're not gonna be for everybody, but can we par this final hole using only the tailor-made Stealth HD irons? Look at the amount of technology that's crammed into there. So one thing that I haven't mentioned is the through slot speed pocket that runs in the sole of these clubs. That is designed to help the lower portion of the face flex a little bit more on those low strikes, so you're designed to get good distance with high strikes and that takes care of the low ones. This is just a normal five iron golf swing. That was a toeiest golf shot I've hit all year. And that is still holding on quite well. That, um, I know there's plenty of grooves to go at here, but that one nearly missed them. Look at the state of that, wow. And that could be maybe one of my only worries with these clubs, do they make you lazy? Do they make you feel like you don't have to practice, you don't have to work hard, you don't have to put your best swing on it? But I suppose if you have them, all those things are probably about correct. So another huge factor which I think is really interesting with these golf clubs is the longest iron you can get is the five iron. That for me is, I like that because it leads people more into going maybe hybrid, it leads them more into going five wood, seven wood. Speaking of seven wood, we do have the new tailor-made Stealth 2 seven wood here ready to test. So if you want to see that review, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This could be a game changer. Imagine this with these in the bag as well. Oh yeah, easy golf, yes please. So with that five iron, I keep finding myself looking back because I think it can't have gone that far with that strike. And it's all the way at the bottom of that hill. That is an insane five iron. So I struck it out of the toe. Even the sun's come out, everyone's happy. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you want to help me get to a quarter of a million subscribers. It would mean the world. Again, this is where versatility comes into it. We've got around 100 yards here. I don't have a pitching wedge, I only have the nine. Versatility shouldn't be important with these, but I think TaylorMade almost, they've almost found something that they weren't expecting, which is good. I think every time you get something like that, it is a little bit of a brucey bonus. I've got a muddy lie here. There's no escaping that this time of year. It should just draw in nicely anyway, from 100 yards. That felt so good as well, be the club. Oh, he stayed bang straight. That ball fly was gorgeous. I love the fact so much time, energy, R&D has gone into making golf easier, not just trying to find people that extra three yards off the tee this year. Well done, well done. I tell you what, it is almost like practicing those chips was meant to be this for a birdie. Once again, we're gonna go bump and run nine iron. Almost like a dark horse, this club for around the greens. Land it there, run out. Oh. oh, can we have an action replay of it clipping this little helicopter thing? Oh. 
Guys, it is my review of the brand new TaylorMade Stealth HD irons. Yes, that is a shot penalty. If you've enjoyed it, smash that subscribe button below. I'll see you all same time tomorrow.